So, I have officially filled out everything in this book. My... I was with my dad when I got this, and I remember I would just- I don't know if you're the same way, but a lot of people are like this, where you see a cute journal, you get it, you never finish it, and it's just- then you move on to a new journal, all of that. I had so many notepads and cute books and journals, and I never finished them, or actually used them, and then I would like give them to my mom or be like, does anyone want this? And I got this with my dad and he was like, I feel like you're not gonna use it, and I guess that inspired me and motivated me because I finished every page. Every page is full. Every page is full. But the thing is, I was using this a little bit in college, so the beginning of it has like musical theater notes and stage notes. And as you flip through it, you see when I started ASMR, so it's kind of cool because it goes from like important things to like, what is this? It looks like really concerning. Like I think if like my mom, if she didn't know I was doing ASMR and then found this in my room and wanted to look through it, you would think there was something like wrong with me. In case anyone was curious also, I'm moving side to side because it is ear to ear. I don't want to talk and then it's like, sigh, me, 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 and it's throwing you off. But when you close your eyes, it's like I'm on different parts, different sides of you. Anyways, so I'll give you an example. So, the beginning is like auditions and resumes for when I did musicals in college um, and like auditioning advice for when you audition for musicals um, so it says like walk in like you love auditioning like walk in with a good attitude like good good notes for someone who wants to audition and do acting and such and then I wrote about our showcase that we did and stage notes, so it's all normal right now. I listed um, things I needed to get, music with sheets, get tapings for both Italian songs, we had to do opera, and remember voice lesson Tuesday 11.30, next Tuesday 2-ish for costume, and then I wrote, <laughs> then I kid you not, I wrote drink more green tea IDK. I do drink green tea every night. I kept up with that. And then tech notes, so it's normal, right? See, let's see when I started doing ASMR, and I don't think ASMR artists will get, I think, unless I'm doing ASMR weird. Okay, ready? This, <laughs> first of all, my handwriting, you see the ripped pages, oh my god. ASMR, uno, cards, who remembers? Oh, I wrote ASMR with my subs. I gotta do a video like that, but I get scared that people are gonna email me like weird shit, so I don't know if I'll ever do that. I'm sorry. The, the creepy people kill it for everyone, I'm telling you, because I would love to do one, but then I remember I was going to, and then I got nervous. I was like, these ASMR artists who are like, email me some ASMR? They gotta be also getting some weird emails, also. I don't know. Okay. Like, imagine my parents 
didn't know I was doing ASMR and like saw pages upon pages that looked like this, they'd be like, there's something wrong with her. But you can tell that this was for ASMR whenever you watch one of my videos and I'm going like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That's what's, <laughs> what is that? So. interesting. This was for my layered, layered video, layered video, layered video, my layered video, and I, my whole trick to filming it was to do a trigger visually, like let's say it's hand sounds going like that, and then two sounds in the background of each visual trigger. This way, different visual triggers and then two background ones to make it nice and layered so for example I wrote these out first I wrote shake setting spray so going like that I actually have my makeup bag right here so like this so do that film that and then in the background the coconut spray shake that as a layer sound and then tap on it but I wrote coconut tap writing because I don't like writing for a long time. I just want to like get to the point. I just like little codes when I write so I can read it quicker. So I wrote a whole bunch and that video was a lot of work but it was fun work. was a lot of like recording audio after obviously because I had to do the layered sounds added but then film a normal video and then add more sounds so it was like filming three videos in one essentially so yeah the book goes from like musical theater notes to like journal entries to scribble and then listing triggers does it ever get formal? um oh i wrote new rare triggers i love the missile foam sound when i had that video where i blew into the cotton pad and then Um, but I wrote that down as I did it because I thought it sounded nice and I added that in a video. And then this is um, items I wanted in Animal Crossing and the treasure island I was going to has it all alphabetical and I was just kind of gallivanting. So I wanted to like go on Nikazan and see the furniture I liked a lot and have it written down in alphabetical order. So I know what sections of the treasure island to go to. For example, cool sofa, cushion, bar counter, all earlier letters. Then I put rat and stool, the rat and end table, stall, animal crossing. Good stuff. And this might be weird to some people, but I need, like not need, but I was in search of certain pieces I don't have in my wardrobe, like I, a, a plain jean skirt, or what did I need? A button up, like white button up, like little things, but I have a bad habit of seeing a piece of clothing and it looks nice on its own, but then it matches with nothing I already have, so then I don't wear it. So the rule, my advice is to sure that any piece of clothing you buy matches with at least two outfits. For example, sometimes we buy something that only matches with like one other thing, so then you can't wear it with multiple outfits, and if you already wore it with one outfit, you know what I mean? 
like scribble this down while I was like online browsing. So for example, the black shrug, which is this one, it can be worn with this pattern tank top and that could be worn with the jean skirt. And the white shrug can be worn with the jean skirt and the white button up can be worn with the jean skirt and this and that. I made sure that everything kind of went together and I wasn't just buying random stuff that wouldn't mesh. And then more scribbles and 150 triggers for my 150k special.
Was it?